today I'd like to review Soundtrap for you. Soundtrap is a web-based audio editing tool. Um, some people uh, would compare it to GarageBand, um, an Apple product. Um, you can create all kinds of interesting things in Soundtrap, uh, music, um, podcasts, interviews, dramatic reading, really any audio-based um, project um, could be a good fit for Soundtrap. Now, I have previously reviewed um, a product called Twisted Wave, which is also a free online editor. Soundtrap is going to be much more sophisticated than Twisted Wave. That can be good or bad, depending on your needs. If you are just looking for a simple way to make a couple very minor edits, crop out an um, uh, shorten the beginning and the end of a uh, recording, then Twisted Wave is going to be great. If you need to do something much more sophisticated, to um, you splice together several audio recordings, add music, fade things in and out, then Soundtrap is the tool that I would use. Soundtrap is a freemium product. Um, you can create up to five projects for free. You can see my uh, I've reached my limit here. Um, and all that means is you have to delete a project if you want to create another one. There are also a few features that uh, you won't have access to through the um, free version. I have not found that to be um, restrictive, though. Uh, just some of the, the loops, the musical instruments and effects, um, which we'll, we'll get into here uh, a little bit. Um, one of the interesting things about Soundtrap is that it is a collaborative tool. So this is very nice for classroom teachers because you can have multiple students working on the same project simultaneously. So Soundtrap is kind of the Google Docs of audio projects, uh, which is neat. So either you do an individual or a collaborative project, there are some, uh, some different options. Um, let's go ahead and uh, open up uh, something I'm working on. Uh, we're just kind of uh, creating something to demonstrate for you. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the studio. So what you're going to see on my screen is the Soundtrap audio editor. Um, this is a multi-track editor, which means you can edit many different, uh, I'm not even sure what the limit is, many different soundtracks simultaneously. You probably won't get too crazy with this um, initially, uh, but you'll, you'll kind of get a sense of this uh, in a minute. So right now, this is still uh, in development. I have one, two, three, four different audio elements uh, that I've created. Um, this purple line right here, this is my playhead, um, and so I can start my recording and listen to it at any point. So I'm going to start at the beginning, and I'm just going to press the space bar. You can also go down here and press the play button if you want, um, and we'll just see what I've got so far. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first ever Biology Class podcast. Today, you're going to be hearing from students on their cell biology projects and also a quick preview of our upcoming unit on vertebrates. So the idea here was a class podcast and I would record or have students record things they've written, share their class projects, you know, uh, just have them share their work. Um, so the first thing that I did was added a little musical intro um, and I did that by adding a drum loop repeat. So I'm going to go over here to the right side of the screen and click on this uh, music note. That's going to open up the loops. And um, I can go through here. I can click on drums and scroll through. So you can see that some of these are premium uh, that I don't have access to. But there are quite a few that are free. And I can just click play. So if you like that, you just simply drag it into the track and it will add it um, as a loop and you can make that uh, as short or as long as you wish, uh, depending on your track. So, I mean, Soundtrack, uh, Soundtrap has a lot of built-in elements that are um, interesting and nice. You can spend a lot of time going through and playing with these. I'm sure your students uh, probably will. I also went through and did a little fade in, fade out. Uh, just click on edit on that particular um, element and that's where you'll see those uh, those different options there are tons and tons of different options 
um, in Soundtrap. I honestly, personally, have only scratched the surface of what Soundtrap is capable of. I'm just kind of reviewing the basics for you uh, right now. Now, this recording that I uh, created, my actual voice, I did that through Soundtrap. So I go down here, I click Add New Track, do Microphone. And then um, I can just click start recording. Now you can do some funny stuff with this. They've got all kinds of little voice effects to make you sound different, uh, sound like an old time radio, uh, sound like you're talking on a, a phone. Um, you can play with those. Your students might have a fun time uh, with that. So that's how I did that. Just click record, talked into the microphone. Uh, certainly, um, the, if you have external mics, it would improve the audio quality. Right now I'm recording this with just like a, an iPhone hands-free mic that's plugged into my Chromebook. It's okay, not great. Um, I also have a more sophisticated microphone um, back in my home office um, that I typically use. It's just not as easy to travel with, um, which is what I'm doing right now. So uh, that's how you would add some tracks. Um, there's other things you can do. Uh, there's there's patterns, which are kind of fun. Hi, everyone. Welcome to... Hi, everyone. Welcome to... Hi, everyone. Welcome to... So I can create these little drum loops uh, if I want to, which can uh, be uh, something you can play with for, uh, for a very long time. Um, you play these, uh, you can crop, move, slide, you know, add your intro, your outro. Um, but then the collaborative piece is also worth um, noting. So over on the right, just below the musical instrument, there's my share button. I'd click on that. I would click on, uh, you know, enter my friend's email address, and then they would be able to come in. This actually has a video call feature so that um, you could record a podcast or an interview or something with someone in Soundtrap, see them while you're talking. Um, most of the time, you won't be doing that. You'll just be in here, you know, stitching things together, creating a, a project. So that's uh, a little bit about the collaborative piece. We'll go ahead and save this. When I'm done with my recording, I'll go to the file menu. We'll click export. Most of the time, you'll probably export as a, either an MP3 or a WAV file. Those are the two most common uh, formats. Once you've exported your file, um, you would then uh, be able to share that somewhere. Um, you could uh, use a tool called headliner.app to create um, kind of a, a picture video to go along with your audio recording that would allow you to upload it to YouTube. Um, you could create a podcast and publish this. Um, Anchor is a tool that you can use to publish audio files uh, as a podcast. Um, Soundtrap is a great tool. It is a more sophisticated tool. Uh, it's going to take more time and energy to understand it, to use it. Um, so it's important that as teachers, you have strong guidelines for your students so they understand exactly what they need to do. You could easily get lost in all the fancy features of Soundtrap. You could have a great time, but we don't want the, the curricular focus to get lost in the fun technology aspect of this.